So I actually have a little cross section of your lawn to show you what's going on. Okay. First off, you have the green grass on top, some dead grass here, and then right there, can you feel that? Oh yeah. That's the thatch layer. Okay. The problem we have is this thatch layer builds up and stops water and nutrients from getting down into the roots. So we need to get that out. We're going to do that using this dethatcher. You look underneath there, you're going to see steel teeth. Yeah. They spin around and you're going to go over the lawn and it's actually going to rip it out. Now this is just like operating a lawnmower, so we'll put your hearing protection on and get you to work. All right, our next step is to aerate the lawn. Now, aerating the lawn is the best thing you can do short of applying chemicals. Mm -hmm. This machine is gonna drive these tines down into the soil and they're gonna pull a plug out when they come up. And that's great because it relieves compaction in the soil and allows water and nutrients to get down into the soil and the roots can have a space to grow. Lane, take a look at these cores that the machine pulled out. Can you imagine that, making a nice opening in here for water and yeah. nutrients to get down? But I notice that these plugs are awful hard, so we're gonna have to address the soil a little bit. We're trying to grow a lawn for you here, and we're lucky because it's early fall, and that's a perfect time to seed a lawn. It'll come up in a week or two and start growing and outcompete the weeds, which are starting to fade right now. So next spring, the grass will come up again, and the stronger the grass is, the more it inhibits the weeds. But we have to do a couple things. The first thing is I did a soil test and found out that your acidity is a little high. So we're going to address that by putting lime down on the lawn. I'm going to take and drop this compost and I want you to take and rake it with the back of the rake. This will just mix into the holes we have, provide nutrients to the soil and make a great seed bed for our seed. The soil test told us that your soil is low in nitrogen, so we're going to add a fertilizer that's high in nitrogen. Now, all our preparation is done and we're ready to seed. You would think here in Kentucky that we'd use bluegrass, but bluegrass is a really hungry seed. When it grows up in the grass, it likes a lot of water, a lot of fertilizer, and it doesn't like shade. Well, you've got shade condition here and you're not gonna be out watering continuously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a seed that's made up of a few different fescues and a little bit of bluegrass, just to give it that hometown flavor. All right, very good. All right, you're all set. Just take and spread it out. Be careful not to get it in the flower beds. All right, thanks, Roger. All right, Lane, I want you to take and give it a coating of water, meaning I want the top wet, but I don't want it soaked so it comes running off the hill. Okay. Now, I want you to do this two or three times a day, keeping the top of the soil moist, but not making it so wet that it runs off. All right, one very important thing I want you to do. When the lawn gets up to three inches tall, mm -hmm. cut it back to two, but I want you to bag it. I don't want all the clippings to smother the new seedlings. And if it's wet, don't let anyone on that lawn. They'll leave footprints all over it. All right. You keep it up, you do the maintenance and the water, and you're gonna have the greenest lawn in the neighborhood next spring. All right, excellent. Well, thanks a lot for coming to Kentucky, Roger. I really appreciate your help today. My pleasure.